Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock, and we are taking a look at Box Boy 2 for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, this just actually launched in Japan out of nowhere. Like, Nintendo didn't talk about this at all, and it just uh, suddenly popped up on the eShop for download. Um, I was actually a pretty big fan of the original Box Boy. I thought it was cute. Um, I wasn't blown away by it. Uh, one of the things that I thought it needed was some color, and oddly enough, right here at the at the title screen, we're already seeing some color. Oh, and then it went away, so I don't know what happened there. So, um, I like this game. We're gonna see what the sequel has to offer, how it differs. This looks like it's a very basic little tutorial level. Um, this is talking about how we can sort of reproduce ourselves. Oh, that was really stupid of me. What am I doing? Gotta use that as a little stepping stone. So, um, in case you're completely unfamiliar, Box Boy is a little game on the 3DS eShop. Um, I don't think I should have jumped across there. Oh, couldn't make it across. I'm losing at the tutorial stage. Um, but it's, uh, it's a game where you have to traverse very simple landscapes by reproducing Box Boy. This is actually literally telling me what to do, so I have no excuse for not doing it. Here I just made stairs, so I can use... It's really weird. If this was a human being reproducing their body parts and then using them to walk over, that would be a different story. But since he's cute and simple, I guess he can get away with it. Oh, so this is a little switch here. If we stand on it, it opens the gate. But if we walk off, oh, well. So what we need to do is just throw some junk on it. And there we go. And we got the crown and we completed the stage. So all of that was very simple. I mean, they just kind of went over a lot of the basics for the game. Um, hopefully in this little first look video we can see stuff that's totally new. Like, so far none of that was, was new. But I don't expect it to be since it's just a tutorial. Alright. Th I'm not even controlling this. This is literally show- Okay, so I think this is new. To where you'd have to throw the blocks on two pieces. Oh, what is this thing? Some sort of weird mysterious floating UFO thing. Oh my god, it just injected its body into my body! Alright. So it looks like these little colored blocks didn't disappear. Alright. That's new! It's got very calming, peaceful music. Okay, I have control now. It's kind of spoiling things for me because it's showing me what to do. Oh, I see. So, in these, these blocks, I can actually make them without... Like, it, before, it's like when you make a block before and you threw it and you made more, the blocks that you made before would disappear. But now, it looks like you can actually make them multiple times. I'm going to try to get rid of that. Without them disappearing. There we go. One more on there. There we go. That opens a gate, and we can move on. Push this one in here to push that. And then bop, bop, throw that across. Got our crown, making our way to the door. So that's kind of cool. It's funny, because that actually was... I didn't, I didn't not like that in the first game, but I definitely felt like it was a little bit restraining to only be able to make one set of blocks, and then when you make more, it got rid of them. So I think this could actually open it up to some new types of gameplay that would be very... Refreshing. I'm really hoping we see color eventually, though. Oh, I bet I have to make little, like, stepping stones. Oh, that was a terrible first one to make. Yeah. Yeah. And ah. Oh, cute. All right. I'm actually... I know it's a bit ridiculous to say because I played this for five minutes, not even. But, uh, I'm sort of enjoying this more... Oh, wait. I'm enjoying this more than the original game. For this one reason alone. Oh, I better not... Hold on. I better not make a new one on that, because that's going to disappear. No idea what that was. Huh. There we go. Now we're going to... Oh, no, no. I'm going to go up. Or, no, 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 no. I think I want to... Oh, I can make... All right. I can make two sets of two. Make the jump! Oh, I didn't make it! <laughs> I overestimated myself. All right, let's try this again. I am obviously a skillful box boy player, as you guys are seeing here, and I should be able to make that, right? 
There we go. Yeah! So eventually in this game, well, I mean, in the first game, you could unlock different costumes for Box Boy to wear, like he was wearing a backwards hat and sunglasses, and he wears pigtails as a girl. All right, so that looked like it was World Zero done. Now we'll move on from World Zero to World One. This game, I should also point out, is not in 3D, which was a little bit of a complaint I had about the first game. Um, I understand that it has a very simple art style, which, you know, I mean, if you look at what it looks like now, it'd be hard to make that in 3D, but I kind of feel like, um, I'm always annoyed with a 3DS game that isn't even in 3D. I feel like you gotta at least try to put it in 3D. Ooh, got some... Oh, there's the logo. Got some crazy stuff happening here with the overworld. All right, let's get this baby started. There's some snuggling little boxes up there. I like snuggling boxes! Don't tell anybody, though. So that's the shop. Maybe we should go head over to there and see if we can find anything. I mean, I don't know if I've earned any shopping money. I can also just touch it on the bottom touch screen, but we'll walk over to it. All right. See if we can find any new snazzy outfits. Oh, you can get music, and you can... I guess that's, like, just to read up on tutorials. And then we've also got the fashion! Oh, yeah, okay, so there's what I was talking about before. And, again, there's the pigtails. Hmm, don't know what that is. What else is in here? Oh, a little devil! I don't remember if any of these costumes were in the first one. Oh, a bunny. Can I get the bunny? No, I can't get the bunny, because I have none of the... Oh, that takes 41? My goodness. These are free, it looks like. Oh, might as well look cool. It just takes... Oh, this takes zero as well? No. Okay, let's go back. Um, let's, I guess we should probably just click on these. Uh, these you just have to pay the little tokens to learn things. This is the music. Again, you have to pay tokens for it. Okay, so that's a shot. Kind of cute. We'll go back to that, you know, at a different time. I mean, I won't go back to it in this video, but as I play, I'll go back and see what that was about. Let's, um, let's take on a few levels in World 1. See what else is new. I'm kind of hoping to keep this video at about 12, 13 minutes, so... You know, I don't want to spoil too much here for you, but... We'll get a little, little glimpse in terms of what this game has to offer that is new. Like I said, I'm already really digging that. The way you can make... Multiple sets of blocks. That has already opened up the game for me. Alright. There we go. Oh, now I'm getting pro. Oh, no, I'm not getting pro. Because that should have been... Oh, I'm really, I'm really messed up now. Okay, that, that worked. Look how cool I look. Backwards hat on. Ooh, look at those little legs. I need to do some more jogging. Box Boy's got some skinny little legs. All right, that got me some tokens for sure. I think that music track is the same as the first game. That little victory track. Okay. Oh. I mean, this is really a puzzle solving game, I would say, for sure. Oh, what am I doing? Puzzle platformer is probably the way I would describe this. That. And. Nope, can't jump up on that. Oh, I can't get... Okay, that's right. Yeah, if you take too long, then you don't get those crowns. Oh, I'm really messing up here. So, you want to try to collect... Ideally, you want to get all of the crowns. And those are based on your time. Ah! Um... Hold on, I'm supposed to do... Ah! <laughs> supposed to do two here and then two vertically so I can push it and then use it as the steps. All right. See, I learn things. It just takes me a little bit longer. I'm simple-minded. Mmm. Fill my body with those delicious little orbs. Move on to the next level. Maybe we'll do all five in World 1. Or there's six, actually. Maybe I'll learn how to count in World 1. What is L and R? I guess I'll find that out later. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's maybe it's reset. Okay, that closes that. 
throw those and get up. These puzzles do get very tricky, I should say. You can also do, like, uh, vertical and horizontal boxes, but they haven't taught me that yet, so... Um... Nope, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm being stupid here. There's that. That, and there we go. Ooh, I'm gonna get my crown. Nice. There's two crowns in this level. There's the other one. So in this one, I want to fall through. That's one. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. Push that in. That one there. Grab my crown. There we go. So yeah, it's a fun game. I definitely think it's relaxing, especially with, like, the music and just the really simple visuals. Um... I think you can also ask for a hint. There's a little button on the touchscreen, which is like a, a light bulb. I'm guessing that's like a hint. We're not going to use any hints on World 1. That would be really embarrassing. All right. Stuff that over there. Oh, no, this has got to be three. One, two, three. Yeah, that does. And now just one. That'll get me up there. I mean, I do like that there's some color in these in these blocks, but I feel like... I feel like, I don't know, I really don't understand why they chose the black and white art style for this. I don't know, I get, if you guys know me, you'll know that I'm obsessed with, like, colorful, bright, colorful things, and so... What? Oh. Oh, I'm not gonna get out of this anyways. Hmm. Well, let's try one, two, three. Push it in. And that goes down. Oh. It's not gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's getting one, but if I make any more now, it's gonna go there. One, two, three. And then push that to there. And then. Uh, hmm. How am I gonna get across if I do this, though? This at least needs to be too high. We know that. Oh, we can do this now. Okay. Didn't I didn't let me do that before. Well, I think now that I know I can do that. See, that's going to open it, but I can't jump up, so. We got to do something like this. But first I have to get out of here. Okay, just here. There. Get those out of the way so I can start fresh. All right. I need to do... What about one, two, three? And then I'm going to throw that. And then do one, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. I'm scooch out and then throw it. There we go. Oh, I didn't get my, didn't get my crown, but I figured it out. I ain't no dummy. Yeah, I didn't know that they, they never told me that I could use the vertical and horizontal blocks now in, in my puzzle piece so I didn't think I could maybe I could all along and I was just too stupid no I, I definitely tried to go over and it wasn't let me in the previous level all right simple enough this will be two just nudge it over X oh X will I don't know if you could do that in the first game X will just there I'll show you if I want to just get rid of all my pieces on the board I can just evaporate them Okay, so I'm guessing since they just taught me that, I am now going to have to use that. There's that. There's that. And now we'll press X and we can get through. Grab our crown. Dink, dink, dink. That was stupid because now I don't think I can get up. Or wait, wait, wait. Oh. Actually, no. I think that is what I have to do. Press that there. And then here I'll just do it again. I'll make some steps. Toss those. Steps! I made steps! Get rid of those. Oh! If I fall through here, I'm in trouble. I think, right? Oh, no, no, no. I know what I need to do. Okay, I need one. And throw it down there so it hits it. Okay, because otherwise I was going to fall right through. And then we'll do three. Nudge it up against there. Go through. Hit X. Take it away. Go in our door. All right. This, uh, 
It's making me feel kind of smart. Because I'm usually pretty bad at puzzle games like this. I got 61 of those little diamonds. Okay, so this is going to be the final level we take on. Wow, we're already at like 15 minutes. Um, sorry if this is too long, but I'm going to give you guys a look at Box Boy here. Box Boy 2, I should say. It's got a different name in, in Japan. I don't know what it's officially called there. I think they call him QB in Japan. The commercial sounded like QB. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Uh, take those away. Ba, ba. No, ba, ba, ba. There's that. And then toss that one up there. Oh, wait a minute. Making some steps here. No, 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 no. Up, oh, that, that. Oh, crap, I can't get that. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was pretty messy, but it worked. Now we'll do bop, no, bop, bop, bop. Got those, getting in, and we are in! All right? So that is a little first look at Box Boy 2. Um, I mean, so far, I don't know that we necessarily saw a ton of new gameplay, but I imagine, you know, in World 1, and we just did the tutorial, you won't see a lot. Um, based on the trailer, it did look like there is a lot of new stuff in terms of, like, uh... Oh, I didn't get all those crowns. I missed two crowns. So we'd go into World 2. Let's see what happens here before we end this. There's something to do with this weird little magical diamond that glows green. Maybe we're trying to save our girlfriend there? I don't know. Oh, well, alright. We're trying to save something, I'm sure. All right, guys, I'm going to jump into the shop real quick. In fact, I'll just press the button on the touchscreen. See if we can buy any of these now that we've gotten some stuff. I have 70. Ooh, let's get the superhero, dude. No, I can't. Wait, what? There we go. I have the strange fighter bandana. I really want the devil. Can't afford it, though. Can't afford to be the devil. That is what my life has come to. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I didn't change into my, my superhero or ninja costume. But yeah, I mean, I would imagine this will get announced for the rest of the world soon enough. It's not like it has a lot of localization involved, and I'm pretty sure it did decently well everywhere. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for it. And, of course, keep it locked right here to the BitBlock for a lot more coverage on all things Nintendo.